folks, uh, John Nord here, and I wanted to make a short little video on uh, sawing uh, silver out the way I do it, and a couple of products that uh, I use when I'm doing it. And so I'm going to show you that right now here. Okay, uh, first of all, I do my drawings with the computer, and like I've put these initials in there and printed out this piece of paper and these are my overlays to go on the buckle I'm building a buckle today and uh, I'm gonna put these overlays on it anyway I get those glued on and uh, then I, I cut them out now the way I glue this paper on here is using uh, 3M and uh, or this this adhesive here it's worked real good for me and I just spray the back of the paper and I glue it down on there I also uh, tape the back of my silver with this blue tape uh, so when I'm moving it around on the uh, scroll saw jig I'm not scratching the back of it up if there's any filings on here in this wood or anything like that I'm not scratching it all up and so I do that and then when I uh, get the pieces cut out like this here I peel the blue tape off the back and uh, I'll take a piece of uh, 400 grit sandpaper and I'll just lay it down on there and I'll sand it to get the burrs off of it like that and then when I want to take this uh, white paper off the front of it I use this here it's just a carburetor cleaner and it works real good and I just uh, spray it on here and you want to be careful not to get this in your eyes I spray it on there and let it soak for a minute and I'll show you here how it uh, it will peel it off of there now sometimes you have to spray it one or two times to get all the glue off but it it lets that uh, paper peel right off pretty easy as you can see and then there might be a little glue residue left on there so I just spray that and I just take a cloth and I just kind of uh, rub the glue off of it Then once I get that like that, I take it and I sand it again on the front side where the paper was. And then that's ready. Now you noticed uh, here, I've got this brand hooked together by this piece of silver right here and that lets me put it on the buckle without these getting away from each other it keeps the space right and everything and then after I have this soldered on there I just uh, take my engraver a uh, square graver and I just cut that out of there and then it appears to be two separate pieces and that's uh, an easy way to do that Also, when you're cutting your design out of here, now you can see here these initials um, are not hooked together, but when I cut them out, I just leave a little bar between them, and that will keep them uh, together. And then I'll drill a hole here, and I'll cut. I'll put my scroll saw blade down through the hole and I'll cut around it. That keeps this front whole piece from moving back and forth while I'm trying to saw. And I, I just cut it out of the piece like 
like this T2 uh, I had a hole right here and I put my uh, jeweler saw in that hole and then I came through here and I just cut around and came back and then I took the saw blade out and this dropped out that way this is still strong and not flopping around from cutting in from the side so that makes it real easy another thing I wanted to say about sawing when you're cutting something uh, let me put this back in here you want to keep your blade tight I've got a little piece of wax here I use and I just uh, put a little on my blade like that and when you're cutting you want to make uh, strokes like you don't want to go you want to just cut along like that that's because this blade only cuts in one direction straight down the way the teeth are so don't waste a bunch of energy by doing this because you're not um, doing anything by doing that. Just go along and cut your design out. You know, like that. Because each downstroke actually cuts something. You're not wasting a bunch of energy doing this. And it also gives you better control on cutting the design out. When you're through, just undo your blade, pull it out. Anyway, that's my uh, tips on uh, cutting out silver uh, for overlays, for buckles, spurs, jewelry, whatever. Um, pretty much everybody that's been doing a little bit of jewel work knows how to use the jeweler saw. But the, the, the tips I've given you here maybe help you a little bit better. I use a 1 16th drill bit to drill the holes to put my saw blade through. Uh, sometimes to save silver, I do put my patterns up against the edge and I'll just cut them out on three sides. But when I'm doing initials, small initials, small overlays, I definitely drill a hole and cut from the hole and cut it out from the hole without coming in from the side because it makes it too unstable. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be making some more videos as soon as I can. See you later.